Karen, welcome back to Colorado and Company. You know, we've all had those light bulb moments, and then you think about what it might take to go into an invention, and then the idea soon fades. That's why you'll really appreciate our next guest. These students have invented products that were recently judged by professionals in our community at the 2015 Gates Invention and Innovation Expo at the Grayland Country Day School. Now, with science and invention, Coach Jorge Chavez and inventors Oliver Greenwald, Sam Nassif, Aaron O'Shaughnessy, and also Lacey Rifkin are here with them. some really great ideas. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. And they're so young, too. You must be doing something right, Coach. I really don't <laughs> do too much at all. They come up with the ideas, and then we it's our job to really to help guide them and I see them through fantastic. to the end. I think it's fantastic. Grayling is a unique school. Tell mm -hmm. me about it. We're a K-8 independent school located right near First in Colorado. We have about 650 students, and actually we are now pre-K through 8. Really? That's fantastic. So talk about what goes into the, uh, teaching the kids at such young ages how to do inventions. Well, it's really uh, just as simple as them coming up with an idea or a problem that they see, and then we guide them through the process of, all right, well, what are you going to do to go about and solve that problem? And there's a Gates Invention Competition? What happens Every there? year. Every year in March, about 100 of our students come together and they present their inventions and there's a panel of judges that come by and award prizes and in some cases some of those prizes lead to patents. My goodness, like the kids here today. So it happens every year. When did the, the kids actually start thinking of the inventions on what to participate in? Some of them have been thinking about their ideas for years, mm -hmm. but the school year starts in August, uh -huh. so that's about when they start working on their invention and their prototypes. And why does the school actually offer this program? Um, Charles Gates, a Grayland alum, decided that kids are really great inventors and they're going to come up with ideas and work through roadblocks mm -hmm. whereas adults engineers might not work through those challenges and so he endowed the school with the opportunity to uh, have this activity it takes a lot of work to develop a patent and an invention right i mean how Absolutely. many hours goes into this um we have they spend quite a few hours a week through uh throughout the school year and then that doesn't include hours at home mm -hmm. and whatever they go through that process to come up with the final prototype. All right, kids, congratulations. Oliver, you and Sam are eighth graders, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me what you first came up with. What's your invention? Okay, so we are trying to pro solve the problem of when kids are eating ice cream and it mm -hmm. drips all over their hands. So we created our invention called the Drip Drop. And it's an edible ring that slides up onto an ice cream cone. And when your ice cream drips, it drips into it, and then uh, then you can eat it after you're done. Oh, what a smart idea! Let me just show the camera here. So the, actually, the actual invention is just this right here. It's going to be edible. They can eat it afterwards. Yeah. Right? So this yeah. is just a 3D printed model, but okay, it would actually be edible. And when did you first think of this invention? Um, when we were 10 years old in fifth grade. We, wow. we we came up with this invention. How does, so how, I mean, how did it come to you? Explain it to me. Were you guys eating ice cream and then all of a sudden you thought, we need something for this? So we were actually walking by an ice cream store and we were like looking in and we saw a bunch of uh, kids like crying and all their like ice cream had spilled on their hands. Their mom were using napkins to clean them up and that just sparked the idea. These kids are going to be millionaires. I mean, it's such a simple <laughs> invention to think about, but it's like you two were the ones that invented it and patented it, which is cool. What did it teach you going through this process of patenting and, and inventing something? Um, it really taught us a lot because we had so many different prototypes that we had to try and some of them didn't work so we really had to keep pushing on and taught a lot of patience and devotion and that all your hard work will pay off in the end. And this has a United States patent which is very cool. How long did that take? Um, it took about three years for the entire process. Three years. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. It's definitely going to pay off. What does it mean to you now to have a patent? And then what's the next step for you? Well, it, it means a lot. Um, it means that, I mean, pretty much no one else can have this. It's our, our own invention. Right. And so we're going to try to do one of two things. We're either going to try to um, manufacture it ourselves and uh -huh. sell it, make our own business, or we might go to large ice cream stores and try to sell the idea itself to them. I want to do something for your mom and dad would you both just turn around and show us your backs turn around this is where we need to sew retirement right here <laughs> mama's retirement right here <laughs> brilliant idea guys you guys are going to make a lot of money congratulations thank you, thank you. all right Aaron and Lacey tell me what you have what grade are you in 11th grade mm -hmm. we're yeah. juniors okay and what's your invention so our invention is attachment for the end of a vacuum that goes on the end yeah so it would go right on here uh -huh. um, it's like a silicone attachment with a filter I'm right here to pick up small objects off the floor in hard to reach places. 
Um, so yeah, it's just easy to use, easy to um, maneuver. So small objects, like we were talking earlier, a back of an earring maybe, yeah. something like that. Exactly. And so it's a filter. You can actually see it. I don't know if we can get a shot with the camera, but it's created right here on the patent, what it would look like. And you would sell this directly to maybe the manufacturers of vacuums? Yeah, yeah. hopefully. What a great idea. How did you come up with this idea? Um, well, one day I was just brushing my teeth and putting in my earrings, and I dropped my earring back in my rug. Um, and then I thought to myself, wow, I could really use something that would help me get yeah. this um, instead of bending over, trying to reach for it um, in hard-to-reach places. And so. you and your buddy yeah. came up with it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. What does it mean to you now to have a patent? It's just, it's amazing. I think we're both proud of the hard work we put in and just have something to show for it. Yeah, it's really unique. <laughs> and what about figuring out the design for the vacuum? How did you do that? The design of the patent to fit on the vacuum? Yeah, that took a couple tries just to mm -hmm. make sure what, exactly what we wanted was on the design. And yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. You both are going to be very successful. These Thank are you. very excellent, bright ideas. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have some brilliant students going to your school. What does it take for a child to get into your school? Tell me about the process if they're watching right now and they want to be part of this. Um, just go to the website, grayland.org. Um, I think we are in, in that uh, admission season right now, actually, for the upcoming school year. Okay. Find out all that information. Thank you so much. And kids, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you Great so much. hard work. We're soon going to be seeing the next Bill Gates, I bet, out of yeah. all these four. All right, learn more about the Grayland and the Gates Invention Competition by visiting their website. Go to grayland.org, grayland.org, or you can give the school a call. Here's that number. It's 303-399-0390. You can also schedule a tour if you like, if you're interested in learning more about the school. It strives to nurture and graduate students from diverse experiences and backgrounds. So definitely check them out. It's a great school.